In this video, we're going to explore how we can create this horizontal bar chart here with ticks being shown every single one of them and only have an increment of a tick or a step size of 0.1 for every tick. So let's start to look how we can do this. So let's start to look how to show all the tick steps in a horizontal bar in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need is we need to get our default code which is on Chart.js3.com getting started. This specific link here which you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on the site here scroll down and copy this chunk of code here which is our boiler template. Copy this. If you want to understand what this code all does make sure you watch this video here. So I'm going to paste that all in here. And once I did that. I'm going to cut this title, put it in here, at least that's for me necessary. Save this and then I want to extend the size of the chart, 80%, there we are. So the first thing what I want to do is I want to convert it into a horizontal bar chart. So I scroll down here and then we're going to go into the options and I'm going to say here enter and say here index axis and this will be equal y axis. Basically what we're doing we're swapping this one with the scale here and as you can see that's how it works so that's number one so the next thing what was requested was how do we get these ticks or the tick mark shown on the label instead of besides it so what i'm going to do here enter put in your grid then i'm going to say here uh, grid and then we're going to say here offset equals false by default in a bar chart it is set to true and as you can see here now the grid lines will be basically pointing directly on top of the bar. All right, so we've got this now. The next thing what I want to do was I want to control here the size of this. This is very important here. We are basically what we're going to do here is on the X item. And I understood the question was based on 1.7 all the way to number four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just modify some of these numbers here. So I'm going to say here four, 1.7, 1, 1 uh, let's say 1 or 2.1, and we're going to say here 3.3. .3. This is another 3.6, and it's another one, uh, uh, well, I guess 2.3. And then we have another one here is 2.5. Save, refresh. So now you have this here, but what we want to do is at least remove the zero because apparently this is like a grading scale where you have to grade from this and uh, from 1.7. So I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to see on the x axis. We're going to say here minimum will be zero, comma, maximum can be four. Alright, so if I save this, refresh. Alright, interesting. We got an error. Why I forgot to put a comma here. Make sure you have a comma here, or else you get these changes or these errors. So now we have this here, but um apparently it is not yet doing correctly. Oh, well, I realized what we're not doing correctly is of course we're putting here zero. That doesn't make sense. I want to have 1.7. So I'm going to put this on 1.7. All right. So if I save that, refresh, there we are. So now what I want to do is tick marks for each of these items. So what I'm going to do here, say here comma, then I'm going to say here ticks. And in the ticks, what I'm going to say here is step size. To identify the step size, we say here 0 0.1. If I do this, look at that now we get every single item here so let me show you something else so you might say here why is this one on, on flat here well basically the value is 1.7 and that's basically the starting point so i can change this if i do here 1.8 you will see this will work nicely all right what i want to show you one more thing what happened if you would have for example a larger scale so uh, or for example i have here number 10 save that refresh and of course i need to uh, remove this or I'm just going to remove this completely refresh and now you might notice that we are basically skipping certain values if you don't want to have this skip but you have a certain value that's so huge we can force a non-skipping effect so we're going to say comma here and then we say here auto skip which is basically set by default we're going to put this on false by default it is set on true so save refresh and as you can see here of course it shows every value, but our scale has way too many ticks. So that's one of the options you have to consider as well. So that's basically how you can control the chart itself. If you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to, for example, reverse these numbers, because that can be as well if you have grading systems where one 
require is considered as highest and five would be the lowest. In that case, I'm going to recommend you this video here on how to reverse the Y scale values in Chart.js. But of course, you can also apply the same methodology on the X scale in this case. 